Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Thank you for stopping by my channel to see what's new. I hope you and your loved ones are all staying well and doing okay as we all shelter in place at home. I appreciate you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and I love all your sweet comments, feedback and questions, so please keep those coming. I, I really enjoy that and I try to reply as quickly as possible. So please bear with me if I can't get back to you for a day. As you know, life is kind of busy for some of us and we just do the best we can, but please know that I do appreciate them and I read them all. Okay, so for today I wanted to do something a little fun and lighthearted in hopes that it would bring you a little joy and lift your spirits a bit. I think we all need that right now. I know I certainly do. And I enjoy uh, watching YouTube videos in the morning with my coffee and it really helps brighten my day and gets it off to a great start. There's so many talented creators on there with beautiful ideas and displays. I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a little story about a mischievous little rabbit named Benjamin Bunny. And now, we, as we all know, it's no secret that he and his friends love sneaking into Mr. McGregor's garden for a little snack and some fun. And today was no different. Well, Mrs. McGregor was out in the yard when she spied bunnies running all about in not only Mr. McGregor's vegetable garden, but also in her prized flower garden. Well, she quickly loaded up her apron with some bunny bait and a baby bunny that she saw running across the yard, then headed out to see what all that giggling was about. To her surprise, there was Benjamin Bunny frolicking in her beautiful flowers, playing with a butterfly. What great fun he was having, not a care in the world. Now his two little twin cousins, Betsy and Barney, quickly hopped up into the watering can to hide. But as you see, they have nothing to fear because Mrs. McGregor loves bunnies, unlike Mr. McGregor. So as she sat the baby bunny next to Benjamin and the twins, Betsy and Barney, she gave them all a carrot, patted them on their heads and sent them safely home. And that is my little story. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a lot of fun to put this vignette together. And I love gardening and of course I love bunnies. And um, with Easter and spring here, it just, it's, just brightens my day. So I hope you all enjoy this. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, this display and then I'll take you in a little bit closer. The antique door is something that I've had for about five years. It was a um, birthday gift from my sweet hubby and it came with the chalkboard painted on it already and the door was painted in, in the cream and we loved it and it came with the doorknob which is not um, antique but it's a reproduction. It looks really pretty with it. And so to that, we added hooks so we could hang hats or something on um, those. And then uh, I had my husband at a shop light, I think it was back in January, uh, to the top of it because I needed some light over in this area where it's at. And I added um, the prisms and the beading to it to give it more of a little bit of chandelier look, which I really like. And then below the um, chalkboard is an upside down handle that you see there. It's a, a bin pull actually is what it's called. And I had my husband mount it purposely upside down so that it, it can hold chalk for my chalkboard when I wanna write messages on it. And then below that, there's a wire basket that you can see kind of peeking out underneath the flowers. I had my husband add that so that I can put um, books or mail or flowers in, whatever I want to do, um, you know, changing it out throughout the season. It's just a lot of fun to decorate with. And it's quite tall. It's actually almost nine feet tall. So it's a good size. And I have no idea what it came off of. Maybe a pantry in an old Victorian or something like that. But we really have enjoyed that. So anyway, and let's talk about the mannequin, Mrs. McGregor. She's all dressed up in her pretty little apron. And that apron I purchased from a shop on Etsy, and it's called Classy Classics. Um, this lady, Shirley, carries wonderful vintage clothing from the Victorian era all the way to the 1990s. She has a little bit of something for everyone, and um, if you're into vintage clothing or just like collecting it to decorate with or whatever, you might want to check out her shop. And I will leave her uh, link to her Etsy shop in the description box below 
so that you can go and check it out if you'd like to. She also carries some home goods and she also has a lingerie shop there called Sweet Drawers. So if those are things that interest you, you might want to check it out. Okay, and so the hat that she has on is just something that I collected and I changed the flowers on it from season to season, depending on what I'm gonna do with it. And I added a little butterfly to the top of her head and um, that black um, pouch that's hanging around her waist is actually like a, a bag that you put on your shoulder and I just tied it around her waist so that I could tuck in the bunny and the seed packets and then the, um, the little bunny bait bag so I could attach it. And then the little black watering can hanging at your, her waist and then the um, frilly gloves hanging on the side of that. So, and then um, in the basket, you can see all the flowers there where Benjamin Bunny is. I made his little name tag out of one of those uh, little garden stakes from the Dollar Tree. And all the seed packets came from the Dollar Tree as well. And then um, I added some purple gardening gloves there on the bottom right, as you can see. And then uh, when I'm even closer, you'll see my gardening tools that I have there. Those are really pretty. They're pink with um, a floral design on them. So let me move the camera, excuse the wobbling, and we'll go in for a little closer look. Okay, there's Mrs. McGregor. Their pretty outfit on. Her sun hat and her watering can. And then there's that little baby bunny that ran across the yard that she picked up and put in her pouch. And then McGregor's bunny bait there that you see. And the carrot and lettuce seed packets. And um, the uh, bunny bait idea was something I saw on Pinterest. And um, it inspired me to make a few of those of my own at home. And I really enjoyed having them. They're just really easy to do. So that was a lot of fun. And then here we go with Mr. Benjamin Bunny. Look at him. He's so cute. His little butterfly on his toe. He came from mm, Big Lots, I think, is where I got him earlier in the season. And most of the flowers that you see there were from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. They're just really kind of fun to work with. And then the little carrots there are also from the Dollar Tree. And then I added the little um, pot with the flowers. And then you can kind of see my gardening tools kind of sticking out there a little bit. There's the fork and then there's the spade. And then the purple gardening gloves down there to go with the display. And then this cute little carrot swag or garland, whatever you want to call it, that came from Hobby Lobby. This year it was 40% off. And then the watering can is something that I purchased at a boutique that I frequent here in town, and I really like the finish on it. And then there are the twins, Betsy and Benjamin. Aren't they cute? And I think, I want to say I got those at the 99 cent store, and they were like $2.49 each, so I thought that was a great deal. And then there's the Mr. McGregor's Vintage Garden sign that I did. The Vintage Garden is actually a stencil, but Mr. McGregor's, I um, just used my word processor and uh, printed that out and then I traced it and then filled it in with my chalk pen. So that's how I did that. Let me step back a little bit so the light won't glare. And then up there, you can see the little um, carrot and bunny garland I made. Those are Dollar Tree carrots and then the money cutouts are also Dollar Tree um, things and I painted them white and then I um, cut out little heart shaped black and white check um, hearts up there so you can see those. You know, the checks don't show up very well but it was something that I wanted to do to tie in all the checks that I'm using here in this display, the black and white check. And then up at the top are just all the the flowers that I added and behind that, the flowers are um, a gar is a garland from Hobby Lobby and then I just um, wove in all the indi individual stems from um, the Dollar Tree. And that's how I did that. So it was simple, but cute, whimsical, and just a lot of fun. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspires you to do something fun for your Easter decor as we all stay home and shelter in place. 
You guys have a nice weekend. Thank you for stopping by. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like. And hit the bell for notifications for any future videos that I might be putting up. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.